caído, la has caído, la has caído. <laughs> Why are you making out that camera? Hi faves, welcome back to our channel, Baby's Acting a Fool, you guys. Um, we are coming on to give you guys not a vlog vlog today, but a different kind of video that I've been wanting to do for a few weeks now, but I'm finally getting to do it. Um, I reached out to my mom and my auntie to help me with this one. So hopefully that you guys will like it. And you know Jamaicans, we cray cray sometimes. So this should be a fun video. By the title, of course, you guys know what's gonna come. Um, you may not know exactly what it's gonna be, but should have an idea. Baby's gonna be laughing because some of these is the first he's gonna hear them. Some of them is the first I hear about them. So it will be fun to um, share these with you. And as you guys can see, if you're new to our channel, there's a baby on the way. Baby bump is growing. Yes, your girl is pregnant. Anyway, you guys, today's video is going to be myths about Jamaicans and pregnancy things that Jamaican believe in when it comes on to pregnancy and if it's your first time to our channel go ahead and subscribe right now catch up and keep up with us we love you guys for even clicking on this video to watch so I have my book here full of myths that I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys and I put baby into this, into this video because I want him to enjoy the fun of these myths Okay, things that Jamaican says about pregnancy. Myth number one is if a lizard jump on you, that means you're pregnant. And comment down below and tell me if in your country or where you are from, if there are similar myths to these myths that <laughs> I'm chance. giving you. <laughs> <laughs> but I think somebody so you got a lizard come on you? No. Oh. It doesn't mean that the lizard is going to really jump on you all the time if you're pregnant, but I mean it it can happen to some people. It's just that if you believe in it. So okay, myth number two is if you dream seeing fish. If you have a dream and you dream seeing fish, mean you're pregnant. <laughs> If a woman dreams in fish, okay. she might be pregnant. Okay, you dream fish? I no, I haven't dreamed any any fish. <laughs> I got no lizard have a jump on me. But let's see which of these myths happened to me and I'll tell you the story about it. Alright. Myth number three. Myth not meat. Real Jamaican in me. Meat. No myth. Myth number three is if a family member, somebody close to you, stomach is sick all the time, like they're feeling nauseous, so the stomach just sick, means somebody close to them is pregnant. If you guys watch me telling my family that I was pregnant, and one of my aunties in the video say, oh, it's you, because my stomach has been sick, and I've been sitting and drinking tea. <laughs> I know somebody's pregnant, I just didn't know it's you. It has so to be go people. It has to be go people. <laughs> you have to be a Jamaican to understand uh. this, okay? So this myth works in my case because my auntie knew it. From I call her, she she was uh, spot on that. 
You're pregnant because she uh, said she, she curse you. Up. She said that she haven't been feeling well and she knows something is up. So myth number three. <laughs> Another myth is um if you dream in your dream, you dream seeing chocho. I don't think you know what chocho is. No. Chocho is a vegetable that when we go to the fruit and vegetable supermarket next time, I'm gonna pick it up and show you what it is. But for all my Jamaicans and maybe somewhere else, if you're African or maybe USA people too, you'll know what a chocho is. So if you, if you dream seeing chocho, mean you're pregnant. <laughs> well, my auntie specifically says. Young Chocho. So if you dream seeing young Chocho, not so the old, full Chocho. So Chocho is not a good sign. <laughs> right. Because you have young Chocho. Remember the Chocho young before it become full. Full is when it become big. So if you dream seeing young Chocho, specific young Chocho. Mean you're pregnant. Mean you're pregnant. Yes. Don't sit and cross your leg. Just oh. like how babe crossing his leg right now. <laughs> so when I say don't sit and cross your leg, don't sit and do this. Because if you sit and cross your leg, Jamaicans say that the baby will be hard to be born. So if you see somebody pregnant and crossing your legs, I don't sit and cross your leg. <laughs> right. Mad. So funny enough, my mom always tell me this when I was pregnant with Tyler. So now every time I catch myself cross my leg, <laughs> I, I uncross it all like, oh my God, don't do that. And I, this one literally gets to me. Every time, every time I catch myself across my leg, I'm like, Mel, don't do that, girl. Do that. Don't hang anything around your neck when you're pregnant. And I specifically asked my auntie why she said this one. She said, don't hang anything like tape measure. Tape measure is like the thing that we use to measure things, but the one that the dressmaker and the tailor uses. Like what mommy would use. Okay. So don't hang that around your neck. Don't hang lace around your neck. Because it has something to do with when the baby is going to be born on the umbilical card. So don't, uh, don't hang anything around your neck. Okay. <laughs> Jamaican says that. Don't eat too much ice. Because you know a lot of pregnant women is obsessed with ice when they're pregnant. Don't eat too much ice. Because you will have fake contraction you're going to fake labor before it's time for the baby to be born <laughs> okay and this is me that my auntie told me about and this one made me laugh and i honestly don't remember the reason why she said this one but she said don't fold your hand and put on your head like this and it's a good no thing fun. i'm not pregnant because i always do that <laughs> She you always no. tell me that if somebody that I do Exactly. Um, she said, don't fold your hand and put on your head when you're pregnant. Damn, I what, what if you're like this? <laughs> <laughs> you're like this with, a, with something around your neck. <laughs> that's, a, that's a food. That's a chain one. You're, you're crossing your legs. I don't, I honestly don't remember the reason why she said for this one. I not dream about the fish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the reason for this one, but this one, when I heard this one, I was like, really, I've never heard this one. But this one says, don't play too much with dogs. Your baby will become a biter when they grow up. You know toddlers like Tyler age, they like to bite? Yeah. And younger than Tyler. So it's when you play with dogs when you're pregnant. That's why your baby end up become... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, the next myth is... If a family member have a boil somewhere on them, that means somebody within the family is pregnant. Babe, I don't think you know what a boil is because that's how you look at me. A yeah. boil is a bump, a round fat bump that come somewhere on your body mm -hmm. that hurts like hell. Some Most time it's under your arm. Okay. And you can't even put on your arm because it hurts. Okay. Sometimes it's between your legs. Choo choo. Okay. But it's called a boil. And let me tell you this one. I think I believe in it. Why? We have a family WhatsApp cousin group and um, 
when I found out that I was pregnant a few weeks in, just early, a few weeks in, I didn't even tell my cousins I was in the cousin group. One of my cousins started complaining that I have a boy who is pregnant and she was bothering her sister that is it you that's pregnant? Is it you? And I had to message her privately like girl I have a confession it's me <laughs> and she was like oh my god it's you I'm like yep it's me sorry and so I think I believe in this one my cousin had a boil for me so she take the pain for me in this case the next myth is if you eat too much eggs your baby will have John D's. and this one I found out this week from our subscribers that is not true <laughs> Jundies. Jundies is when the baby is born and the eyes yellow and the skin mm -hmm. is pale. So if you eat too much eggs, especially the egg yolk, Jamaican says your baby gonna have jundies and that is not true. But it's a Jamaican myth. A Jamaican myth. The next myth is don't eat too much sugar cane. And the reason they say the reason for this one they say is that all the liquid all the water from the sugar cane you'll have too much water and you'll have to pass out all that water before the baby is born and it, it can be dangerous so don't eat too much sugar cane when you're pregnant <laughs> well you know it's i don't cane. eat any i don't have it to eat but boy if i have it i would eat it trust me okay this next myth <laughs> is don't drink from a straw or a bottle when you're pregnant. The reason for this one, they say, is that the baby will puke and it will come through the nose. And you know, that can be very, very dangerous. So don't drink from a straw or a bottle. You're to drink from directly from a round mouth. Anything with a big open like glass. space. Right. So don't drink from anything small. So I drink with water. <laughs> so I'm what still sinking myself, drinking the fish. And <laughs> you're, right. you're an idiot. The next myth is don't eat too much pepper. <laughs> Why is he looking at me? Because the baby will drool excessively when they are born. And Lord knows if this one is true. I'm sorry for... <laughs> I'm sorry for myself. <laughs> because that's all I do is eat food with a lot of pepper. I can't help myself. <laughs> I hope this is not true. <laughs> but let's see. If yeah, that's six, the case, you boy. You have five months to figure it out. <laughs> Another myth is not only if you dream seeing fish, but if you dream seeing pumpkin. And I already had said young chocho. So it's young chocho, fish, and pumpkin. If you dream see those, mean you're pregnant. And if you see a fish and a pumpkin, mean you have twin? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. That, that could, that that could, could be work. That could work. Okay, another myth is if the person that is pregnant dream seen that they're gonna have a girl I mean they're gonna have a boy and if the dream seen that they're gonna have a boy it's going to be a girl so whatever you dream seen is going to be the opposite sex no I haven't dream seen anything <laughs> <laughs> okay and the last one that we're gonna give you is the last myth that we're going to give you is that Jamaican says if your stomach is round, you're going to have a girl and if your stomach is pointy, you're going to have a boy. So you guys comment down below and tell me what you think your girl is going to have, a girl or a boy. And this is the part where I show you my stomach to see if it's round or pointy and baby's going to also give his opinion. Okay. So this is my stomach. My opinion straight up is that I think I'm going to have a boy, especially because of this myth. I'm solely going off this myth. I think I'm going to have a boy because my stomach is pointy. Tell me what you think I'm going to have, a boy or a girl. 
Thank you guys for watching this video. It was fun doing that Jamaican myth with you. I love my Jamaican people. I love my people. Anyway, you guys, subscribe if you're new to our channel. Hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss a video. Love you guys. Catch up and keep up with the fam bam. And we'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog, which is going to be the long awaited vlog that you guys don't want to miss. Love you guys, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow. tomorrow.